in this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Our boy Bomb is gonna die. She could walk. She lied to us. Why head on? Why the head on show up there? Huh? Head on also. Head on was very intrigued in the irregular bomb, right? You think head on and like Hansung are kind of in on it? Like they have the same mindset of let's try to fucking smuggle in irregulars to overthrow the tower? Because fuck Zahad. You think head on's down? He's fucking smiling. He was, you know, he even was like super dashi to bomb in like episode one and shit, right? Bomb's gonna fail the test. Now what? Oh, this is Rachel in the beginning, how she entered the tower. What'd you just say? This is probably the peak of my life. Now, is she saying this moment when she entered the tower? Or is she saying when she pushed the bomb? What is she referring to here? I actually want to know. Is she saying this is peak right now as she entered the tower for the first time? Or after she pushed bomb off, now she feels like she feels peak. Enter? All right. She's a fraud. The tower opened the gate for bomb. And then Rates. But Rates got selected. She was like glowing and going away. What? She was not the one. She was not even goes to show how much more jealous she is of bomb in the earlier episodes then. Take her to the eel head on. <laughs> There's no way she can do this. She can't do shit. She can't fight for shit. How does she pass? Well, I guess you failed then. Bomb did it. Silence! Your savior. Head on made Rachel watch Bum pass this. What? What? This is some next level cuckoldry, bro. She's getting cucked so fucking hard right now. She is so fucking jealous. And the person that Hedon was talking to in episode one, remember? I made that comment in the reaction. I said, who the fuck is he talking to? He was like looking at the screen and breaking the fourth wall. It was actually Rachel. That's it. <laughs> the ugliness seeping out from inside of you makes me cringe. Let's fucking go. Head on is my favorite character in Tower of God now. What a fucking... Armchair psychology moment we're having here. Doing a little bit of, you know, breaking down Rachel as a character. She chases for the stars, but it actually was that she wanted to be the star. And unfortunately, the star of the show is Bum. And the jealousy that she feels, huh, basking in the sunlight, even though his name is Knight translated in Korean. Why would Hedon let her through? What you gonna make her do, bro? It's kinda sus. Bottomless stupidity! 
Was it to kill everybody? If you can bring his life to a close. Ghost. Head on gave ghost to Rachel. And what? That's the implication here, right? Never mind, never mind, never mind. Wrong. But why? He is the savior. You are vouching for Obama, son. He's so great. God damn it. Another regular. Let's fucking go. Then he says, all right, Rachel, you go in only if you can kill Bomb. Why the fuck would he do this? <laughs> okay, you ready for the tinfoil? So, basically, Hansung and episode one already foresaw everything. The lead up into the fucking exams, into the fucking, you know, the dolphin poop test, and, and then the pushing part. And he told head on from the beginning, all right, you gonna make this girl plant the seed in her head of doubt, and she's gonna end up pushing him, so you gotta make her want to kill him, and you gotta do that right now. Now, this is an incredible fucking reach. We are just reaching, doing mental gymnastics out the fucking wazoo's. I don't even know where I am anymore, but that's the only explanation that I can think of if we're sticking into the Hansung theory. <laughs> Ghost. Ghost. So, what an OP fucking weapon. And yeah, we did get Black March. Yeah, we did. Right? Ignition Weapon Princess 13 month series. Yeah, but like, damn. A bodyguard that's so strong and acts as an extra lifespan. I feel bad for Ghost. This comment is what really pissed me off. When he looked at Bomb and said, yeah, yes, of course. Coward. But you can push him off the fucking ledge! What you To see if the boy is worthy of what we desire. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that Hansung was glazing for a bomb from the beginning, but let's see how far the theory is going to go. So, Hwadin is a navigator, and she worked with Hansung's faction. She's not a regular tester. She doesn't give a fuck about that. She only existed to help Hansung smuggle bomb into the tower. Rachel is the bait. <laughs> Skill issue. I feel so guilty. So this kind of makes sense on why there was like a conflicting... What's the word? Like a conflicting um, mentality of like, do I hate you? Do I like you? Right? There was some kind of guilt all the time, but then there was times where she felt like she genuinely did care. So it's this cognitive dissonance of I have to kill them, but I can't kill them. And now I feel guilty. I don't know what to do. This makes a lot of sense. Okay, she's hesitating, rotting in bed. Hoarding? You can't, bitch. Why does he have all the friends? Damn, I feel... This is actually so pitiful. I don't feel sorry, but it's like... Damn, like... She's been told that you need to kill Bam to pass the tower, like, climb the tower. So she was never in a mindset to ever be able to make friends and just kind of join in with this group and move forward, huh? Unless that itself was a test. Unless that was like head on test of like, can you overcome your innate desires and over and, and, and surpass them and join Bum as this and he's going to be your savior. I don't really know about that, but I can kind of understand where she's coming from. Great line, Endorsi. Great line here. So jealous, bro. The letter from Hansung, the bait, the bait, dude. <laughs> so basically, Hwarian has been carefully observing and realized this bitch ain't making no progress. We need to, you know, kind of give her a little push. So here's the fucking letter. Yeah, yeah. Misread the sign. This is a sign. 
あなたを消せばいい。私は塔を登りたい。王さん、何をしているんですか。スケルシュ。離せ。やめろ。私は。Did I make the choice? Did she move there? Hold up, what's the implication here? It's your fault for flexing your powers, Ho said. And then Rachel had a visceral reaction, as if it was so. Like. She could relate, right? Ho said, it's your fault for showing off your power. Because Ho is in a similar situation, huh? So was this the sign? And Rachel acted on that impulse, but it's like, did I actually do this of my own volition? Is the question she's asking herself. It didn't hurt at all because lifespan, because lifespan. He's gonna try to save you no matter what. So even right now, like, she's actually not yet past that yet. She opens her eyes, but like, she's just faking this shit just for, you know, just to see if like someone's gonna save. Fuck you, I hate you! This is actually such a sick episode. Holy shit. We're getting the entirety of season one retold from a separate perspective, understanding the actual mind games at play from the beginning with head on. And this soundtrack right now too. It's just like thought provoking. This entire thought soundtrack's like, oh shit, what's gonna fucking happen? What's going on? This is crazy revelations. No. But why don't he's baiting her? And then the moment came during the test, the final test. That's what she was crying. I didn't understand this. There were so many weird moments where Rachel's being all weird. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But the inner monologue, right? She's already thinking. This is going too well according to my plans. I'm almost at the end now, and you know what? All I gotta do is kill this kid, and my dreams will come true. But it's like, she feels this enormous amount of guilt because she keeps following her around. Yeah, she's crying out for hope. She's crying for hope right now, surely. That guilt. Nah, I don't care. I don't care. You made your own choice. Everybody can make their own decisions. And even if Heron imposed a test onto you, I don't know. I feel like you choose your own destiny. And if you're going to still say, you know, get out of here, Bob. Please run. I'm going to stab you in the fucking back in the finale uh, season, almost season finale. I still like that's an L for her. That line makes so much more sense now! All of this weird ass shit from Rage, and I'm like, what's going on? Why is she behaving like this? The extra context just solidifies it. God damn. You know what we should have done at this point? Fucking throw her wheelchair off the fucking cliff. Huh? Every time you mention this, it just makes it feel so much worse. Nah, I will not feel sorry for her though, right? She's crying here because of the cognitive distance of what she has to do versus how nice, you know, her potential prey is. But like, what? You want me to have a pity party? Bitch, you fucking stabbed him in the back. You can't be feeling sorry for yourself thinking, Oh no, you know, how could this be? I'm in such a bad situation. You know, I'm gonna have to stab this kid in the back. But oh no, woe is me. And Tom has no clue what's going on. You should hate yourself. Why do you hate? Again, it's just like, despise your disgusting self. You are your own byproduct. You let this fucking happen. And you could have made an active decision to change and move forward. But it's like, nah, dude, nah. She realized that she's not the main character. She got upset, jealous. And now she feels guilty. And I'm supposed to feel pity for her when she's crying because she feels guilty about having to backstab him later. Nah, you're not going to get pity from me. 
I can understand where she's coming from. This question was proposed before the last test. And Hansung setting up the final stage. He said I always did. Did he imagine getting fucking pushed at the fucking end though? Yeah, maybe! Like a puppy looking at master. Jealous greedy bitch. I just want to have friends. I just want Rachel. What? Hate yourself for it then. Anything can happen in here, bro. Anything can happen in here. That line, bro. Anything can happen in here. The lights, bro. Like, holy shit, bro. The different dialogue that's happening right now that just, like, hints at what's about to fucking happen. This bitch was fucking ready, bro. And the light, she didn't see it. But Bum did. Why was he glowing? What does that imply? Our golden hand. She was glowing too. But she doesn't see any of the light here. Meaning that... She just doesn't have the abilities to understand the greater Shinsu at play? I don't know, but it's kind of poetic how Bam could see the light. Michelle Light could not see the light. Anything can happen here, that's right. You're about to get fucking back backstabbed. I'll never experience the miracle of Shinsu. And that's why she can't see the light. Is she actually going to climb the fucking tower without ever being able to use Shinsu? That's crazy. Well, I don't know how she's going to develop, but like, she ain't got no blessing of Shinsu. You are not her! Maybe I'm a shadow cast by a star's light. And the funniest shit is, Bomb's name is literally Night. Yoru, Night. There is no light to be shown at nighttime. Unless it's the fucking moon, I guess. But it's like, he's not even the morning. He's not even sun. You are being overshadowed by... I guess being overshadowed by, you know, night makes sense. But damn. He was the star. And she's the shadow. She wasn't the king, guys. Insert King bottle picture from Blue Lock. I wasn't the king. And you could have climbed up together. You could have. <laughs> you know what? Her entire pursuit of becoming a star is an empty pursuit. Because the reason why Bomb is beloved, the reason why Bomb shines like a star, is because the people around you will make that person into the star. Someone that wants it so badly, saying, me, 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 I want to be the idol, I want to be the main character. No. That is a position that is nominated by other people. The people around you will simply vote with their mind and confidence, saying, yep, I want to follow this guy. And Bomb is that exact person. Rachel? No. Nobody thinks that. It's only you, you, you. She got a crazy look in her eye! Ew! Fuck you! You're not sorry! Top 10 anime betrayals. No cap. Top 10 anime betrayals is like a fun meme title, right? I truly believe that this is a top 10 anime betrayal, bro. This shit right here? Holy fuck, right? 
This is an actual top 10 anime betrayal, man. Rack. Okay, where's Tom? Exactly, where is he? That's your excuse, bitch. She can't get away with this, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Because Hansung and Huaryun's goal was to figure out, is Bum the person that we need for our causes, right? Our desire. Rachel was the bait. This is still according to their script. This is working perfectly in plan. I just want to know, what the fuck are they going to do with Bum now? Yeah. Is at the bottom of the ocean! No one believes this! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Parasol! Read the room! <laughs> Dude, this Parasol guy just... <laughs> oh, without bomb, it's meaningless! How did Parasol pass? Of course he did. Damn. Damn. That scream by Rack. I think that's what everyone felt like, right? That was actually good. Damn. Annex crying. Everyone is crying, man. Because Bum was their star. And now he's gone at the bottom of the ocean! <laughs> I'll join you! <laughs> How could this be? Sip in your goddamn instant coffee, explain yourself! All of it. Everything! Since episode one, before Tower of God anime was even put into production! Well, the webtoon existed, so I guess he already did though, but yes. Everything was according to the script. What Episode what? one with the head on, bro. What? I hate this. This little bitch fucking standing up to sit in her fucking wheelchair. I can't wait for the day this fraud gets exposed for not being a cripple. She took the bait. She was the bait. She did her job. I don't care. Let's go, warriors, Will. You know, you surely you know what happened. Yeah, <laughs> no, There is no justice in this world. Good people die early, evil people live forever. She's about to give us the most maniacal evil laugh. Let's listen to the evil laugh. <laughs> She thinks she's her, bro. You still look empty as fuck inside. Actually, I think this was not her being empty, but her laughing a lot and then realizing, all right, poker face. Remember the script? I am a weak, disabled person who just lost a really important person, and now I have to be sad. I think that this is what this moment is. I would like to think... That, like, she is realizing how empty she is, but I think she's locking in to the poker face that she needs to play. Hey, we all lost our jobs! Let's go! What? What is going on with letter or subplot to search the truth of what happened to Bum and Rachel? With Quan? Okay, interesting subplot going on here. Quan has no clue, of course. 
bottom of the ocean? What are you gonna do with Pom now? Okay, and then? There he is, protected by some Shinsu. Okay, okay. What are you trying to say? Nine thousand IQ, my man. He knows. He knows. Okay. Good. Good. I was a little upset when he said, let's climb the tower, Rachel. But it's like, nah. Nah, 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 nah. He's got plans. And we will one day expose this fraud. <laughs> the Yahweh ship would have been even stronger than that's like an you can't break it. Imagine if the first thing bomb saw was good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That'd be crazy, right? More love than you could ever be! This is Hwarion's voice? Who is this? Black March's speech? When did she give that? In the earlier episodes? Or was it supposed to be a new speech right now? It, was that an old speech in the old episodes that I kind of missed out on? Or was it like episode 1? When you meet her again, she will have lived for some time without you. Interesting callback to that. Drop that beat, Kevin Pankins! Ready? I don't know. What's the plan now? What is the plan now with him? A star can shine anywhere. Remember that! Forever! Dude, I just realized something. Is the entire season 2 gonna be... Season 1 was bomb chasing after Rachel. Season 2 is gonna be bomb chasing after Rachel to ask a question. Why did you push me? I, no. No shot, the entire thing is just... I need to find Rachel, but I need the answers. Why did you push me? Stop! Stop! No, stop torturing me! Oh. Are y'all ready for the ride in season two? How could she not be mad? The savior. Bama's the savior. Climb! Well, technically, all the answers lies in this floor, actually. Hansung has the answers. Hwarion actually knows that, too. This is fucked up. This poor boy is being used as a tool for other people's fucking, you know, narratives when it's like, the answers? Ain't no way! needs to climb to the top. That motherfucker, if you Hansung planned all this shit, he knows! Training arc with Hwarion? I need power! Let's go. Let's fucking go. To the Tower of God. What is this? It's it's not the outside of the tower, right? It, it, it's not, right? He dropped. What is that? What are the pa Are those three red eyes at the very top? I, I, is it? Oh, it's a net dolphin queen. It's not. It's, okay, okay. It's nothing. Okay, okay. It's, it's not Zahad. Not. What the fuck is Rachel narrating it? Oh no! This is not the story of Rachel, the girl who cut it. Bitch, you can't climb for shit. You're on a fucking wheelchair. You're gonna get pushed up the fucking tower. Fuck you. <laughs> Just fucking suck. And the, and the boy who needed nothing but her. And that, that part's actually true. That's the dude in the cover picture. That's the dude in the fucking season 2 cover. No spoilers! No spoilers! My brain is making the connections. No spoilers though! No spoilers! We got Ponytail now, huh? Yeah, is that Bomb's dad, guys? Oh my god! It's Bomb's dad! He showed up! Whoa! Bomb's dad! 
Looking like a time skip is gonna happen. Yeah, if he's the 25th night, then he's the 24th night. <sighs> and ladies and gentlemen, that is Tower of God Season 1, which is honestly feeling like a prologue, huh? The real story hasn't even begun. We haven't even started climbing the tower. All we went through was a series of tests such that we could climb the tower. And it was still amazing. It was absolutely amazing. The whole structure of the entrance exam style, tournament style, competition like this, the cohorts, different teams. It was amazing. The flavorful roster of characters who are so in-depth. They're not shallow. All these side characters has their own backstories, has their own factions and where they come from. This story truly is deep. When people said that this is like the one piece of webtoons, I was like, sure, sure. And then I was like, oh... Oh, I see, I see. And now we understand through this episode, by going through the lens of Rachel, what she was going through and all those moments where I was confused in the season while watching it. Why is she making these faces? Why is she shamed this, right? It all made sense. It was born from the guilt that she had because she had to commit to the act if she wants to become a star. And Han Sung basically manipulated her to do that. One of the most manipulative thing is how this poor boy bomb just wants the answers and Hwadian kind of fucked up Hwadian also knows right Hwadian, it straight up knows she said if you want to know the secrets of why Rachel went crazy and why you got pushed then you need to climb so clearly bomb is being used right now by Hwadian and Yuhan Sun and whatever their faction is for their own desires and I think that whatever that faction is it has to be anti Zahai because this whole thing has been irregulars comes in a great calamity happens the order the status quo right now is King Zahad people must not like the way that he runs things and we need a revolution how not through parasol no 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 through bomb how are they gonna do it through a training arc with Hwadian that's for us to be uh that's for us to figure out in season two and that's it for me if you're still here if you didn't enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care